If elected, what would you do to help continue to promote job growth and grow Florida's economy? I would work to keep our taxes low and eliminate unnecessary regulations, especially duplicative regulations that we deal with on the federal, state, and local levels. Um, I also believe that it's important that we have a skilled workforce, and so investing in a world-class education is imperative to bring Florida into the future in terms of our economy. We must, as a business owner, I realize how important a skilled workforce is and the value of that to any business, um, and we must focus on that in order to bring new jobs and businesses to Florida. How would you improve Florida's health care situation? I believe we need to empower individuals to take ownership of their own health care. They need to move um, from the emergency room as a primary care option, but we are going to need to increase the number of primary care physicians in the state of Florida as we're losing them at a rapid pace. I believe that can be done by increasing the number of residency spots that we have within our state. We also need to consider direct primary care relationships with doctors as opposed to um, only health insurance and Medicaid or Medicare as an option. Um, I look forward to being part of this conversation as we tackle Medicaid reform and not expansion. What challenges do you see in Florida's K-12 education system? And if elected, what would you do to address those challenges? I think the challenges in our K-12 education system are that children are not showing up at kindergarten ready to learn and on grade level. We must focus on zero to six and brain development that occurs during that time for children is crucial to their success in school. So I would invest in our early childhood education programs and bring more accountability to them. Also in our voluntary pre-K programs as they help these children get ready for kindergarten and so that they can read on grade level by third grade. It is necessary for children to be reading on grade level at third grade, otherwise they will fall behind at rapid pace and will not be able to keep up with their peers and will not be contributing members of our workforce in the way that they are most capable of learning at such a young age. My name is Erin Grawl. I'm running for the State House of Representatives District 54, which is Indian River County and St. Lucie County. And you can find my website at www.erangrawl.com.